Hey, so this is a Cooler Master NR200P. It is, or was, the case my VR PC was in. And it's a pretty standard layout. On mine, I had a 280mm radiator here and the GPU horizontally sucking air through the bottom. And even though it looks like, if we get the dust shield off, it looks like we've got plenty of airflow down here, these feet do not give enough room to let a GPU as power hungry as a 3080 breathe. So I had an enormous problem with noise because the GPU fans would ramp up to maximum. Even in a room that's, you know, 15 to 18 degrees Celsius, the GPU fans would be going crazy. And I was racking my brains going, why on earth is this PC so loud? It's a good quality card. The CPU is not loud because it's a 3700X with a 280mm radiator, which is a way overkill cooling solution for that kind of chip. And it turns out it's just because there was not enough space down here to let the, uh, let the GPU actually get enough fresh air in. Needless to say, I've replaced this with a Sunnyside Up Meshalicious, which got rave reviews when it came out. It's another mini ITX case. Uh, it's about five liters smaller than this one, actually. So it's, uh, it's a space saving too. Same radiator, same CPU, same GPU, same motherboard, literally the same computer in a different case. And my GPU temps have dropped by like 15 degrees and it's almost silent. So yes, this case was choking out my graphics card and making my computer loud. So what can we learn from this? Well, your PC parts need fresh air to breathe. I'm so glad we're seeing a bunch of airflow focused cases show up, maybe in part due to Gamers Nexus extensive testing and poking fun at the bad ones. This might be okay if you have the GPU in the vertical configuration where it's pulling air in from the side rather than the bottom. But I couldn't do that because I had a 280mm radiator and the vertical GPU mount does not fit when you have a radiator that large. Even living somewhere that sometimes gets to minus 21 Celsius, I still think PCs should run cool and quiet, especially if you plan on using Ryzen 7000 or anything Intel, both of which run a heck of a lot hotter than this 3700X. Now my only problem with my VR PC is that my motherboard has no USB-C header on it. USB-C, oh don't tell me this motherboard doesn't have USB-C. Oh God, I don't think it does. So the USB-C port on the top of the case is completely useless. I'll see you next time.